Aha, no atende. Take long on this point. You hear it, but we don't understand some of us. You say that. Joseph was in jail. Joseph was in jail. He needed somebody with an atmosphere from the palace. Because he has dreams of the palace. I want you to connect it with our ordinary life. So that people may understand. Higher. If you see a person who needs to be to go higher. The highest level gets over. The man called Nebuchadnezzar. Let me tell you. If you see God is taking you higher. Never exalt yourself high. We know you. What did you do for us? Above you. There are other people. And down here. There are other people. Take the people who are down to you high. Actually salvation of our poor person. It is really low. More than the salvation of a rich person. Poor people get saved in a wrong way. You give victory to the rich people not poor. What Bible says. Any blessing that God promised you come through people. Except life that God has. The rest is in the hands of people. In heaven there is no material. In heaven there is grace. And then when God gives you his grace. Grace brings to you people. And then the people. They bring material. And then material. You find it's what you've been asking for God. Before you learn about to obey people, you will always remain down. If you say that people are useless, we welcome him in the name of Jesus. We don't welcome the word of God sitting. Please allow me, dear brethren. You're going to hear from things that you have never heard. Look at your neighbor and tell them that don't be distracted. Speak to your neighbor that this is your season to be visited. I'm telling you that your visitation moment is on. Don't be distracted. God is coming to you. Welcome, servant of God. May God bless you. Let's upload more to Jesus. That's not enough uploads. That upload is not enough. Let's upload more to Jesus. You can be seated in the glory of God. Sing as may God bless you. We should worship to God. But because of time we can't. We, link, we need to learn the word of God. As it's been a week talking. Please raise our microphones. So that it won't require a lot of effort. Because if you can be unwise, you can preach today and you never do it. But if you can prepare that, you can do it. Hug the person next to you and tell them that you did well to come. And tell them that you did well to come. And you and tell them that you did well to come. And tell them that you will not go back the same way you came. Uh, Thank God for this time. I think they introduced us. It's not necessarily that we do this. May God bless the shepherd for hosting us. We humble ourselves before the sins of the Lord. It's not because we are the best in talking about the scriptures. It is the grace and mercy of the Lord. 
kugira ngo uzafashwe uri mu materaniro ariyo yose for you to be touched in any kind of service you can be in uyu hagaciro kuba atari wowe uri hano kandi nawe uzi kuvuga valley that it's not you who is here and you are the one and you know to speak to uri imani bayageze ngo nawe ugabane kumva it is that god wants you to have a share of this bakozi b'imana bageze banje bari hano respect to the servants of god who were in the house nabakumbuye kandi ndabakunda i was missing you and i love you mabakomera mashimeshi cyane offer applause to them Bibiliya iravuga ngo mwubahe abantu bose cyane ngo ariko abarushwa no kugabura ijambo ry'Imana mu bubaha incure byiri. The Bible says that respect everyone but those who works hard to share the word of God. Tumaze icyumweru tuvuga kugaruka kwa Yesu. It's been a week talking about the returnance of Jesus. Ariko uyu mugoro banabwo ari cyo tuganiraho. But tonight is now when we going to speak about. Tushimira abantu badukurikiye muri kino cyumweru. We thank the people who have been following to us the whole week. Abadusengeye. Those who prayed for us. Nababitubwiye ko inyigisho ziri kubafasha. And those who gave us a feedback that they are being touched by the Tonight I'm going to teach. I will not use long time. But I will make it be productive. Let me see the people who loves the word of God. Raise up your hands then. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we are learning, what do we do? We do three things. Number one, it's all about listening. For me to be sure that you're listening, it is that you do what I'm asking you to do. Because whenever you're talking to more than one person, it requires a kind of sign that you are proving that you're listening. Number two, it's all about looking at me. Because whenever you look at me, there is power from here coming to you. Number three, it is all about lending, lending me your short time. Anyone who feels that has an emergence of going outside, please go outside before we read the scripture. Because the word of God is the greatest thing in the house of the Lord in service. All the things we hear from this place is completed by the word of God. Let's go quickly then we read the word of God. We are in the second book of Samuel, chapter 11. Tujeze kwa gata tu. One to three. Itabo cha kabiri cha Samuel. Second book of Samuel. Chapter fourteen. Murongo ambere. One. Tujeze kwa gata tu. Up to three. Ni biche chumi na bine. It is fourteen. Dakato somo tu kuhus. Let's read quickly. Wuche ya yawa bumbwe na seru ya amenya kumwa makumbi ya busaromo komez. Yawa ba hera kwa tumia inumwa itekoa avane mugoro mnyabu gengine. Namabwira ati ndakwinginze ihindure nk'uwirabuye bambara umwambaro ubwirabure kandi we kwihezura aho guse no mugoro maze igihe kirekire wirabuye abanya kwigendera komeza maze ugi bwami uko bari ko ubwira umwami yo wabahera ko amabwira ibyari bivuge gera ku murongo wa 24 maze umwami aravuga ati nasubire mu rugo rwe ariko ntazancirgera nuko abusaro masubira mu rugo rwe ariko ntiyabonana n'umwami ishira mu rugo wa 32 ndashaka gusomera rimwe kugira ngo tuganire i want to read at once that we may start with a conversation to the word of god abusaro maze asubiza yo waba ati nuko nagutumiye ngo wende hano ngo utume ku mwami ngo umumbarize uti nazanywe n'iki cyamvanye igeshuri cyandutiraho nuko mba narigumiye yo kugeza ubu nuko reka mbonane n'umwami niba hari ho gukiranirwa muri gya nyice amen amen utumwe bwiza bwa Yesu bwanditswe na Matayo good news written by Matthew no murongo abantu benshi bazi it is a line that many people know ibice birindwi umurongo wa karindwi 77 musabe muzahabwa mushake muzabona mukomange ku rugi muzakingurirwa amen amen Like they told you, God is merciful for us to learn the word of God. Ah, uh, Kandi, because of that, I don't want to be just a kind of man to be high. And it's because of glory to glory that God gives us. And it's because of glory to glory that God gives us. 
We need to make our time be productive. When people doesn't learn the word of God, they feel touched, but what they learn come out of them quickly. Jesus said, he who hear from the word of God and they don't keep it, they're like, they're like weak people who build their houses on sun. But everyone who hear from the word of God and keep them, they're like wise people. The person who is better than you in righteousness, it is a person who stored the word of God in him. Because David said that I kept it unto my heart that I would sing against you. Anyone who has the word of God doesn't get much premature death. And even though they can be weak, the word of God lightened for them because David said that it is the light that lightened to the people. Tonight we are going to share the wise words. It requires you to follow me because I'm going to be like narrating the story. If you don't follow me, it will be like a kind of story I'm giving you. Because many people will hear from me at the ending time. Let's all say hallelujah. Shout loudly that hallelujah. Actually, the on time ways of preaching the word of God. We no longer stress people that why can't you hear from me? The first paper of the Bible It's written on that nowadays people need the word of God. If I see Fred is the one who is listening to me, I will stand here. God did not send me to speak to many people. Jesus preached to 12 people only. And they preached to the world and was changed. The problem is now that many people can hear from me. But the problem is that few people may obey. Because if those few people can be available, we can get a guaranteed answer of the problem. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the story. Hallelujah. Actually, a congregation is uh, Number one is all about love. Tell your neighbor that try to love here is in the house of the Lord. Because if you can't rejoice here, it can be harder for you when you are outside. Number two, the congregation of the Lord is at home. Let's applaud more to the Lord. Number three, in a gathering, there is a kind of conversation. Actually, anyone who is good at gathering, he gets alert. We are going to share the word that says to encounter the king. They have told you that in coming days, we shall learn about 12 ways of reaching to great <laughs> Let me first prepare you. I want to narrate you the kind of story and you will enjoy. People will love me are the people who love the Bible. From 11 of this book of 2nd Samuel, the word of God says the sin of David. When Israelite was battling, David remained sleepy and he didn't join with them. And he used to go with them. We are not going to blame him for this. Because the reason why he used to go there first he used to live in Hebron there in forest. But now he has already become the king of Jerusalem. To not go with others for battling. We are not calling it a sin. But let's continue others are battling. And David slept. In the evening he moved above the roof of house. Here he had committed a sin. But he starts getting closer to the scene. To please yourself while the armies are battling. And you go to move around the roof of the house. And Israelites are fighting. The weakness have already attacked him. There is no one who falls at the first day. No, you first delay and take long where sins are done and you don't do that. So while he was moving around the roof of the house. And he saw the woman, the wife of Uriah was The sin, it is not all about sin 
the woman of Uriah. Because this is the role of eyes. David wouldn't close his eyes. And the mistake of this woman. She took shower of where men can see her. And David invited her. The sin also yet come at this time. And he got her. And the sin become to fornicate with her. And he had a doubt that he had rejected her. And he committed the second sin. That called supporting others with wickedness. And he invited Uriah. And he told him that come here. There is nothing else David was planning for. But he wanted Uriah to sleep at his home. So that everything will happen go under his name. So that everything that will go under his name. Hear from what the Bible says. Uriah was called. And David told him that narrate for me the news of the battle. And Uriah narrated to him. And he told him that I've been thinking about you. And I felt like I need to give you a vacation. Go at home and sleep. I would like you to follow me more. Then Uriah, he was a Gentile in Druze. As the year comes, they would have something like a, a, a festival. When Whenever that session of uh, festival happened, we'll do it as a family day. And they found him a family of Jews that he should join. This is how Uriah was, Uriah was done to him. And then the day he became a Jew, he committed a sorrow before God. And he said, anytime the people of God will go to battle, I shall go with them. While they told him to go to slave, he remembered a sorrow that he had made. And he said, how comes I sleep like others are in battle? He went on the altar, he didn't go home. In the morning, David got to know the news. What David got to know that information, he invited him and he was so furious. And he told him that why I'm giving you the rest and you don't raise. He told him that today I will make it. In the evening while he went, the heart was not agreeing with him. Salvation is not said, but salvation is is practiced. Hallelujah! Ha! He said, I can't go home. In the morning, David got to know. And he invited him furiously. And he told him that I give you the last chance. Today, go home. Uriah went while he reached to the gate of his home. He said, even though it was said by the king, but I cannot break the sword that I made. And he said, I shall not make this. And he spent the night there again. While David couldn't find what to do, he wrote a letter and he gave it to Uriah and he told him that take it to Joab. Joab was a great a leader of Uriah. What was the letter saying? He was saying that if Uriah reaches to battle, take him to the place where they will shoot him. Quickly. It comes to the afternoon informing that he's not still alive. They give him a letter that was containing that news. He was not supposed to read the information which is not his. And then he took it like the person from the kingdom. And he gave it to Joab. And while Joab read it, he was crying. Because he knew the zeal of Uriah. But then Joab, he was supposed to do what his leader telling him. And he took him forward. And Uriah was shooted. And he died. After he died, it was informed to David. And David said that I have to break all the signs. Bring the woman of Uriah. And he took her to be the second wife. Then God was really hard There are people who get lost. And God feels so fearful. Speak to your neighbor. And tell them that be among the people on the heart of God. There are people whom God told you that if you can't find what we found, it's not open. It depends on the benefit of God in you. And you hear a person is struggling. But if I go in what I want to stay away, if you can be Allah, you can go with me. It depends on the benefit of God upon you. That I shall not carry my hand. If you can be God, I can go with you. It depends on the benefit of God in you. Hallelujah. And then the one who shut up demon, he will be born to God. They will even kick you. It depends on the benefit of God in you. Amen. Amen. 
God was really hurted. God was really hurted. And he invited another servant called Nathan. I want to tell you the story tonight. Praise be to God. You know how Nathan encountered David. And he narrated him a proverb. Actually the balance of the Holy Spirit. It is not speaking in tongues. Tongues are the signs. The balance of the Holy Spirit. It is not to get a vision or revelation. Even Baram should get back. The balance of the Holy Spirit. It is not a hallelujah. Even the fan of Rehoboam. The balance of the Holy Spirit. It is the wisdom. Hallelujah. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. There are some prophets who say things which are truth, but who are not wise. And they prophesy things and that they are not broken. broken. Actually, he saw the but they are not wise of giving it out. So the people were unwise. God sent them to ignorance. They cannot encounter the atmosphere of king. You cannot go to the palace when you are stupid. God has not called great men. God strengthen those he calls. Yeah. Hallelujah. God calls weak people. But God does not use weak people. When we reach in this factory, God teaches us. God makes us. And we come people at good level of the standard of Christ. Nathan narrates a proverb so that David may hear from him. And he told him that master, in this country, there was a man who was wealthy. He once saw gays he was living with a poor person and the poorest person had one sheep and then after he took that sheep of a poor person and then he fed it to the guest and David was like did it happen here or it happened somewhere else because David was in justice alone he was feeling that he can bring justice to people the reason why God took you out of that government it is that you may strengthen people who are going through it Hallelujah. All the time God will shift you from a certain level. And you don't support people in the same situation. Know that you are becoming useless to God. Hear from what the Bible says. David said, if that happened here, tell me this person should die. What will tell you the person who is have fault in heart? They discern him and they take it to others. You preach for what? And he says, tell them. I wish this person will be in the house and here. It's a mean. He doesn't know that it was his time. Because he's no longer here from the spirit that tells him that this is his right. Because of wrong things in heart, grudge, if you don't have the spirit to have the spirit to have the spirit. David does not have the spirit that directs him that is the one to be told. But he said, if this person belonged to our country, should die. And Nathan was like, it's you, master. You had many wives. But to take a wife of Uriah, and you kill Uriah. He said, God was really hearted. And David told God that, let me go to speak to him. David was really wise in prayer. He raced before God. And he told him that, I'm sure that you're furious. And whenever you're furious, as you kill people. I want you to stop from killing me. But let your mercy dwell upon me. Do not hide my face, your face to me. Let your spirit remain upon me. Then after I tell you, you kill me after listening to me. And then God was like, say then. And he said, you're the one who got me out of the ship. To be a shepherd of them. And you turned me a king of Israel. You used to be with me. And you used to overcome all the nations. God was like, though you were mistaken, but you know how to talk about it. There are people who knows their God. Here from what the Bible says. The Bible says that those who they should be strengthened. Hallelujah. He told God 
God. You used to be with me. And you overcome the Gentiles. The nations that was before me. And God was like, what again? Number two. He said, before killing me, why can't I remind you things? Speak to your neighbor that have a remembrance before God. Pastor, there is a person who tells you to pray for them and you can't find where to pray to start you look for something to bear and, and you say God you know them you are sure about them you know the way they sit you are the one who knows their mother but there are other people who got a problem and the saints stand hallelujah speak to Mayuro to come closer to the piano or anyone please come to the keyboard because a field fire is going to be for now the people who have supportive power and shelter hallelujah there are people who have things in a way that they come to and we fight be if they have lunch we spend the night with us sleeping because in the house of God there are things they have done we have things to and David told God that you remember when I was taking food to my brother and there was a Philistine from Gati who insulted you and it was 40 days and 49 and all the people left you and all people forsaken you and they were saying that you can manage the son who killed you can you remember him and God was like it's you number two he told him that now at Jerusalem the singers are worshipping you they are called Azav there are four thousand do you know the person who paid them God was like it's you the son of God he spoke to God at home I invited the trees of Lebanon which should build for you the house so then if you kill me uh -huh, will you remain in the tent and God was like stop by there. He was like you were saying things that I feel we can do. Hallelujah. Things that you're saying. I feel it can cause me to speak to you. And he told God that let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hallelujah. He told God that if you kill me, people will think that your mercy is over. And you know that I've been telling that you were merciful. And God was like, it can be over. And he told him that number two, if you forgive me, I will tell the people of today and the coming season that you are treasure full of mercy. And God spoke to him that I forgive you. Assault. While he went out, he sang some statue. He says, blessed is the one who was forgiven his sins. And his sins was covered. The people whom God forgave. Shout to hallelujah. Hey. Hey. When we repent, God forgives us. I have told you that uh, salvation is not about insurance. No, it's all about individual. God forgave David. But the child he gave birth that he died. In 13, this spirit that attacked David, it came to his firstborn called Amnon. The generation of says they tell you that many people of you doesn't believe that it when we commit a sin, when it doesn't impact us negatively, it comes to the people from our generation. The Bible says that our fathers committed sin and no longer alive, but we are carrying the transgression. The spirit of fornication, it attacked his son called Amnon. It didn't take him in a Gentile, but he lasted to his sister called Tamar. And then he looked for the way they should fornicate. They had the same father but different mothers. Hear from what the Bible says. I am narrating to you the story so that you may hear more about this and I am sure that you will be touched by the of Jesus. Hallelujah! This is what happened. Amnon, he used all the tricks and he fornicated with his sister. After they fornicated, 
He got her out of the house. And Tamar went carrying her out. Actually, in Jerusalem, when a man would be hurt at, at an exaggerated level, he used to take off his garment. That's why the angel told Peter, wake up and report on your bill. When a woman should be in trouble, driving and she wants everyone to realize that, she would carry her arms. And Tamar went by carrying her arms. And she met his brother called Epsom. They had the same father and same mother. And he asked her what's going on. And she narrated about what happened. And he told her to go and be still. That he will revenge for her. Revenge in Kenya. It is to reward wrong things to the person that he did. Then after two years. After the story was being to get forgotten. Then Solomon planned for revenge to his sister. And then he went and told David. That I want to go to the mountains of Ephraim and I go to circumcise my sheep. And then I look to your sheep. And then I have parents. I want you to come to my parents and come with the people whom we are related. And David, like a busy man, he told him that go with the people who are related with. But I will be busy. I won't be And he told told him that Amnon your brother be the one to represent me. They went to Mount Ephraim but the target of Solomon it was to revenge for his sister Tamar and they climbed the mountain. Reaching over there the party started and while the party started they took, they took wine and they used to give it to Amnon. When Amnon was singing, he's being given wine, and which was ready higher. And he felt it's the glory of the great God because he's representing his father. And after he became drunk, Solomon told his servants that take a sword and kill him. And the servant denied. It. And they said, if David can know that, that we are the ones who did it, he can kill us. He asked them, I and my father who employed you. But it was like you were the one master. And then he told them to do like he said. After Amnon was deeply drunk, they cut at his neck and was taken aside. You are listening to the effect of a sin. Remember that we are talking about meeting. I'm looking for you the supportive information. We will connect them during the ending season and the people was running and they want to tell David what happened and the first people because of worry they told him that all the people went to Solomon they all died and David cheered all his problems and he shouted down while he was crying it came a woman a, a person with a complication and this person said that all of them did die but your firstborn Amnon died and he asked who killed him he said it is Solomon so what was the reason he was revenging to his sister here from this equation here David is the king the child who died is his the one who killed him is his son again he was blaming him for his daughter. This is the equation in life that requires you an answer and you don't have its answer. Let's start by that. Here from another equation. David is the king and the country has the rules and commandments. Here from how the Lord says when you kill a, a person blindly you are punished by being abandoned with all people. You got rejected out of society. A Rwandan gave out a proverb and he said that those who give birth to a fake person you just raise them. Don't have it. His child committed a mistake but still is his son. But the law also it requires him to do something about that. A Rwandan have given out a proverb and he gave out just saying that say the law. It is heavy than stone. It is heavier than a stone. And a leader 
is the one who should put into practice the law. Actually, when the leader breaks a command, he is punished highly more than a citizen because a leader is the one who selected it. They elected it and they are aware of it more than the citizens. He has set a law that he who shall kill a man will be rejected. And now it happens to his family. So the law is before him. And the citizens went on the mountain. They said, huh, let's see him justice. If he doesn't punish his own son, he will never rule us. And David can't have a solution. Ask your neighbor, if can be, what can you do? Isn't that any question? Hear from what happened. David, David have closed his eyes. And he said, reject Solomon. And they took him. And they rejected him at Gesho. And they rejected him away from others. He went there. And he became his servant. And he was shepherding. He used to eat the rest. And when people went to Joshua, when they come back, they speak to David. And they tell him that we have seen your son. Do you know how it happened? Do you know how he's looking? Like? And David feels sorrowful. But the law is still there judging him. Hallelujah. Can you feel that it's not? Hallelujah. Let me narrate to you another story. Then after two years, David felt like he's missing Solomon. And he, told, he said that he did wrong. But even though he did wrong, he still no like even the anger it starts being reduced. But the Lord is still there judging him. There is nowhere you shall go. He will come to take it off how. There are things that was blaming you. It was a wall that you can't cross. There are tricks that God is going to you. So that you may reach to your destination. You yet get my power. Let me prophesy like Ed does. There are things was before you like succumbed. We stopped you to cross where you are. It was set with men. It has become preachable. Today is a night whereby God is going to use other wisdom. I will repeat. Yeah. Yes. Listen to this. There are things that you shouldn't cross. It was set by men. God is saying that there is another way. Touch three people. And tell them that God gives me another way. Learn to prophesy in the name of Jesus. What you confess is what you show. Shake your neighbor and tell them that there is another way. People can find a way. Doctors can find a way. Money can find a way. Can find a way. But God brings another way. The second There was a man called Joab The same man who was the leader of the armies of David While he looked at David He saw him with a problem He realized that he started missing his son Solomon God is going to connect you with people Who will know your thought before telling them God is going to give you people who will know your time. I'm telling you that my God connect you with people. Who will shift you from the problem that you was all blessing? What the hallelujah? Can you shout a hallelujah? Hey. Amen. Amen. Joab. Joab. He was a wise man. And then he said, which kind of way will we give these things through? Number one, I will not tell the king to break the law. Like the leader of the army, I should respect him. And it's obvious that David is missing his son. Which kind of wisdom will we use that Solomon may be bad? Because David can no longer manage the country. Actually, whenever you miss somebody and without pretending, there are three things that happen. 
The person who is missing somebody cannot manage to do it. The reason why the church is sleeping is because we don't miss you. People miss money. People miss car. People miss visa. If you can tell them to spend the night at the end of the day, but if you tell them the whole night, they cannot spend. I want you to miss it. Amen. Hey. 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 Even though he can feed the food. Number three. No one who misses feel. They just say, why do I need to clothe? They are hopeless. The country confused David. And Solomon was at Geshur. Don't forget about this man Joab. I will need to use him by the way. Joab was a wise man. He went at Tekoa and he got a wife there. The Bible says that this woman was wife. I have found that the shepherd was praying for you. I want people that I, mean, I want God to take out people. Who are they are making you delay. They are making you weak. They don't hear from your eyes. When you tell them things that are because their eyes are stopped from this hand. People who know wisdom are the ones who break through and see outside. Listen to what he did. He went and told the wise woman. And he told her that be like a person who has been mourning for long. Who lost his people. And go to the palace. And this is what you will tell the king. Because I'm teaching wise people. I want to tell you things that this woman discussed with the king. You will know what Joab have sent her to do. Amen. Amen. Well, the wife went yes, and she took herself yeah, like a hush, and she was in old clothes like a woman who was mourning. And then she went to the palace and she met David was seated on the chair and then she bowed before him and she and he said, Master, I have a problem. I want you to rescue me. So what happened? She said, My husband died. I want you to hear from Joab. My husband died. And he left me two children. Last time they went in the forest. They went there to look for wood. Reaching there, they fight. And the young child killed the elder. And then the other Outside the people, they are outside going no against no me. That even that one who was remaining no should be killed so that they may take over that no place. No so I, your servant, no the children are mine. No the one who died is mine, no and the one who killed him is mine. No I just received no you. No I was requesting you no that you may rescue me no from no 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 Because if the son I remain no died, no I would die. Too. And the name of my husband shall no, be no, no, So why can't you rescue me? David, David stood on his chair. And he said, what's wrong with sitting here? The one who's hearted is the mother of the child. And the one who died is the child. And the one who killed the child is the So citizens, what do they want? He asked you, woman, you come to say that I do what for you. And she said, rescue me. And he said, I grant you that. Touch your neighbor and tell them that on this Thursday, God accepts to rescue you. God accepts to rescue you. It was yours who stood in front of him alone. Hey! Listen to the news. Do you feel like the sun is You feel you're enjoying the sun. Can I continue? Can I continue the sun? 
listen to me then David was like I agree and the woman was like that's not enough nowadays people the people of this area know if I can tell them that we talked they cannot believe me isn't how anyhow you can write so that I may prove them with a letter I tell them that it was said by the king and the king was like that is what you ask for Lord God have granted you. what you ask today God grants you that David told authors he told them that bring the letter he wrote that I the king of Israel I swear to God alive that nothing shall happen to this child that except nothing to happen to him I grant him the full security there is no hair no hair that shall be taken off to his head listen to the prophecy God grant you protection even your hair won't be taken off you. accidents will leave you alive this doctors will leave you alive enemies will leave you alive Shout hallelujah! Hey. And the woman took a letter. I feel touched. I feel I'm going to be touched. Do this, I tell you the story. She took the letter and she kept it. And she told David that among the people we convert, it is my first time to see somebody who failed. And David was like, I rescue you, and now you are calling me to Peter. And she told him that, sit, I tell you the story. I don't have a husband. I don't have even children. But what brought me here, you took your own son and you rejected him to Gashor because of citizens. And now he's going to die from there. The power you used by rescuing the citizens why can't you use them by rescuing your son Absalom? Let me lend you wisdom in the scripture. Hear from a wise woman. Hear from Doab is a technician. You was going to do it for the child of Solomon. Why can't you do it for your son Solomon? And David was like, why is he? hold on nothing I will do for you the king falls before you but I want to ask you David looked at her looking at how calculated looking at wisdom in it he saw that this deal was not missing in drawer because he knew him. He knew his calculation. He knew the way he organized it. May God give you people who will advocate you why you know. who will explain you why you are not. Why can't you shout a hallelujah? Remember. Where Solomon is, he doesn't know what's going on. He knows that he will die there. Let me give you a revelation. There are people of God set in different areas, in different areas, who are explaining about you, who are advising you, who are learning about you. David, David told the woman that don't lie to me. Fear not, nothing wrong I will do to you. These things. And Joab included. And the woman, because of worrying. Do you know that the Bible says that our sins? Actually, the church that have many gods prosper. 
But never see them coming out. Hit the abacul. But the heat of women. If they speak about you positive, you can capture. But if they are off to you, you can run out of Kigali. Yes. Did you know that David killed one person? And women did a campaign. They took their pretenses. And they said, so be sorry to us. We are not denying your word. But you give thousands. Ah, and the son of Joshua is now killing the lion. And he killed one person. But women said that he killed a beer. Less women have blood than sir. They are the first people who knew that Jesus rose again. Because they used to say that he said that I did it. Let's go there early. Things that concern story they hear from me people. Did you know that Jesus taught women to go and tell Peter and all the people that he rose again? Because women saw Jesus rising again before others knew. But if you can be cast and they go against you, uh -huh, it can be a worse situation. A woman, because of worry, she told David that, Master, do not do something wrong to your servant. Joab is the one who sent and him. And remember that Joab, he was escaping from them so that David won't be sure that David he was there. And David pretend to be furious. And in the heart he was asking that he's going to find a way to restore his life. But he has already defeated because they have made a song. And he has already signed. Some people are going to do like pretend. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. It will end up come to pass. Yeah. 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 There is a trouble. The people going to be you. Knowing that they are talking. Knowing that they are looking. Knowing that what happened. There is still. Knowing that they are talking. It will end up. Coming to boy. Hey. David. David. Pretended to be furious. And he was like, go. And bring to me Joab. And he tell me how. He can make women come to me. And he makes me be ashamed. Call him to come. They went and told Joab. That David needs you. And he is furious. Why is he furious? The woman you sent to him. Have made him have a story. And you know the meaning of the no, moon. No, no. So you will notice you will from him. Him. Joab asked. The problem is not all about uh, escaping from him. But did he accept, agree what we did? The people said he did. Hey. Tell your neighbor that what God approved. Hey. Nothing can change me. We live. Oh no. Whether they will scratch or no. Whether they love you or no. God. Have a proof. Hey. And then Joab came from the veranda kneeling. He came to the palace walking back David to his knees. Knees. And David was on the chair Joab pretending side. And while Joab reached before him, him, before David asked him something, and Joab told him that, Master, I want I and this woman to thank you that there are things we wanted and you approved. And then let's not take long. Let's go to Geshu. And then we got to bring the water to you to encounter the king. Yeah. To encounter the king. Let's go. To we bring him. And the king was bestilling. And he said, go and bring him. And he live at my house. But he will not see me. 
They want to hatch. And Job was like, it's fine. They went and they told Solomon that your father said, come back. But he said that you will not see each other. What you did is still angry. And he brings you back. But he's still very angry. You will be in there outside. But you will not meet each other. And Solomon was like, it's fine. Just that I'm here near him. Half year to Takuri. To be near him is greater but than to be near him. Even though you yet to get a job. But you have a diploma. Half year to Takuri. Near is greater than to be near him. You are closer to what God said. Wearing your tight place. But you have somebody who promotes you. Nia is greater than far. You yet get a promotion. But you are employed. Nia is greater than far. Hallelujah! 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 Hey. Hey. Speak to you and about the way you are. It's not where I want to remain. But it's not where I was. The God who did that. The God who took you there. Yeah, yeah, Nani fiti Nani moshe Nani moshe The people of God is going to heal Nani moshe Nani moshe Nani fiti Nani fiti Nani moshe Nani moshe I'm a Why are you rejecting? God is coming to heal your agony. Here from the new. Here from the new. You are going to a blood of God. He is going to heal you. The Bible says that they brought him and they got him outside the house. Hold on. Let me connect the story. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 They brought him and they got him into the Verona area of the palace. He couldn't meet his father. After two years, he started missing his father. And he think of being there. And your father will come the servant. And he will come the citizens. While you don't talk to your dad. He felt like he's missing his father. And he was like, I can't manage this. How comes I live here? And my father is the king. The servants can deliver me the news. Ah, and is my father speaking to me? Yes, I eat. Yes, I clothe. Yes, I live in a veranda home. Uh, so what started me to meet my father? Uh, he invited Joab. He told them that tell me to Joab to come so that you may encounter And tell him that I need to encounter my father. He is the one who brought me. And he got me from Joshua. I didn't come to remain here. I just need to meet my father. What they told Joab. Joab was like, stop it. I have been rescued for the first time. I cannot go in it. I have been rescued for the first time. So give him more food so that he may remain there. And he invited him for the second time. 
He denied. For the third time, he made a decision. Tell your neighbor that tonight it is a night of making decisions. There are things that we are tired of. There are lives that we are tired of. Things that you are tired of. Even God is tired of it. Things that you don't want. Even God doesn't want it. Things that you are full of. You cannot be seated with a king and go back. People knows that the name of Jesus. People knows that the history of David. The day David killed Goliath, he didn't go back to Bethlehem. But he went to Jerusalem. Everyone in the house. May God change your place. May God change your place. May God change the people you see. May God change the people you see. May God change your status. May God change your profile. May God change your profile. When you reach to the balance, you get friends at your level. The friends who are at your level. You are 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 friends who are at your level. Any 
anyway you will say I give you authority tonight another word when you reach to the palace people forget about your weakness and they remember about your strength when you reach to the palace when you reach to the palace because it's no longer possible to get them down. They have already reached in the position of God. Listen the meaning of this act. Tell three Things that you used to fight with you. It's going yeah! to be the one and always. When you reach at the palace, you no longer beg. But you thought not of your father. You've been given for long. You're going to reach on the level of giving in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Compress all the I'm going to ask you other things. Compress. General Joab. There is a word I read in Proverbs. That says the offers of a man takes him before great. I will not speak about an offer. But I want you to tell me the benefit of encountering great people. Number one. Most of the time, I'm asking on behalf of people. Some people, when you say encounter great men, 
They just say words. It's all right. So now the way I am. Bridge people are useless. Haven't you ever heard that? I was born in great families. What did they do for me? I want you to explain in a biblical way. Connect it with uh, our ordinary life. Benefit of encountering great men and respect what Bible says. Any blessing that God promised you come through people. Except life that God has. The rest is in the hands of people. People. All things that God promised people. It's fulfilled by other people. You cannot go to the mountain. And if God tells you that I give you a car and you remain there, you, get, you descend to where cars are. There is something you said, let me emphasize. In heaven, there is no material. In heaven, there is grace. And then when God gives you his grace, grace brings to you people. And then the people, they bring material. And then materials, you find it's what you've been asking for God. Before you learn about to obey people, you will always remain down. If you say that people are useless, know that you're having a, a great problem. Joseph. Joseph. Amen. 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 Joseph mm -hmm. needed a person. And this person they encountered in jail. And this person mm -hmm. was not arrested. But he just yeah. came to welcome Joseph. Because Joseph needed Pharaoh. Nowhere a housemaid would encounter. It was requiring an atmosphere of a person no, no, to a casa. And then he comes. So that he may meet Joseph with the dreams of the palace. That's why this take long on this point. You hear it, but we don't understand some of us. You say that Joseph was in jail. Joseph was in jail. He needed somebody with an atmosphere from the palace. Because he has dreams of the palace. I want you to connect it with our ordinary life. So that people may understand the dreams. There are people in life. Who reached where we yet reach? Because we can't meet their, them there. God make them come to us where we are. It is possible that it can go through the ways like taking the grave. There is a person whom God gets from the office. And he remains here every Thursday. And tomorrow the meeting gather and they remember this person. And if he reaches there, I speak about Reverend Ernest. Because Ernest needs but at the palace, they don't need him. It requires a person who will reach there, who will speak about you there, and they invite you. Joseph, Joseph needed Pharaoh for his dreams to come to pass. But Pharaoh was not in need of Joseph. Joseph then he needed a person to speak to Pharaoh so that if Pharaoh needed a person that person may be aware of Joseph. Listen, there are people in your life who yet become useful to you because their time yet been on. The day you will be needed, they will be important to you. Protect yourself from losing people that you see they are useless. It is because your time to be needed yet been on. There is where they shall speak about you. Amen. Amen. You need people who have reached where you yet reach. Actually, who is a great person? 
It is a person who is no longer jealous to see others going higher. If you see a person who needs to be to go higher, know that he has the symptoms of shitting down. Because whenever you go higher and you don't take other people higher, you reach up till your level goes over. Whenever your highest level to go over, it requires a hell. And then you fall down. You miss somebody to receive you. Nobody, nobody tells this story. Because you proved to us that we are not in the same category. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! The highest level gets over. The man called Nebuchadnezzar. He went at the highest level and was over. And then he moved around the world. And he said, Nebuchadnezzar, I am going. Look at Babylon that I built for myself. And then God was like, I can correct you in a certain manner. Do you know that he went to eat like a cow? And he spent seven years. And the country did not have a king. And the people was not aware that he wasn't around. Let me tell you. If you see God is taking you higher. Never exalt yourself high. A time of closing an hour. God can take you down and if we forget about you. That why don't you know me? We know you. What did you do for us? Above you, there are other people. And down you, there are other people. Take the people who are taking you high, and the highest will take you higher. Another thing when you encounter a person who has been taken higher, he helps you to rightly direct your thoughts. When a person is poor, you have disorganized thoughts because you don't know what first and what last. You will plan starting from what? This is why you need a person who will give you a direction. And this person then, it is a person who, who passed through the same way like you want to pass through. Let me give you an example. You say, why do we trust our interest in great people? If you don't trust in great people, you will be having a great problem. Do you know that you have a problem with a great person? And he say, please arrest him for me to Dubai. We shall check on his things when I'll be back. And you find no one to advocate for you. And you find no one to advocate for you. He can wake up with a bad mood. Do you think if a rich man steps on you, you, <laughs> you, 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 you find a good king around that you? And you say, honorable, you took your feet and you blessed it up. <laughs> I want to tell you that when Jesus was preaching it came a, a rich man called Zechariah. He was very sure. And he wouldn't find the way to sit Jesus. But he had wealthy. And then he claimed the truth. He did not call Jesus. It is Jesus who looked up. And he said I can feel the atmosphere. There is a person who is different from we other men we met. Remember Jesus. He was using anointing of feeding people. And then he found somebody who asked him that, that can feed people without taking his anointing. And then he looked up. And he said, Clem down. Then we told. Tonight I will sleep. People was like stop. He is a sinful man. And then he said, "Support concerned sins." Actually, salvation of a poor person. It is really low. More than the salvation of a rich person. Poor people get saved in a wrong way. 
a person standing here to praise God thanking God and you hear people are gossiping that are they the ones to remember people they got the meeting if they don't invite them and the meeting they are going to have is concerning they are sure that they don't have money. So what do they, what, what do you they want to do? Mafara. They need money. They know that you don't have it. They have ideas. They will call you for what? They had a meeting of wedding they didn't tell <laughs> you. They call you and ring them. My God give you money in the name of Listen. Jesus was in the house and he was preaching and a prostitute woman who was called Madeline she took Narada oil and she brought it in a bottle and a very expensive oil and she poured it on the feet of Jesus and the disciples they said he's misusing oil while a woman is connecting herself with other people that's why she brought experience to her. She knew the one she's going to serve. And, and Jesus was like, stop things of poor people because you live with them. Probably. But this woman does a great work. Anywhere they shall gather talking about my name. Let them speak about her heart. It's been 20 and 23 years. We didn't work together with Mary. She's not my sister. She's not my sister. I wasn't even there. But even today I'm talking about her because she connected herself with an atmosphere. Did you know that a person can stand and you prayed for wedding hardly and you meet and they have money and then he tells you that ah, ask me and the tongues that went away started. do you know that a person gives you an offer and you feel anointing. Do you know that you can preach without having anything? And the demon tells you that there are some books that you don't know about to read. And he tells you that things concerning miracles. So people will see the way you look. And if you tell them that may God do good for you. They will say may God start with you. The God you are asking for and he yet serve you. But there are things that happen to you. And a man brought them to And you scare a demon. Because there are some people who are convinced by the proof. Yes. In theology. Let me tell you. The physical appearance preaches 50%. Oh, fair applause to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then. It sound system. What we call sound system, it has 30%. Look at when electricity gets over when you preach. You immediately hear that the service is taken down. Actually, the um, instrument takes a higher anointing. Actually, the message has 20%. Because you read and you say, I will tell you the kindness of God. And you just give them testimony and they see you have some proof. And then they believe in words. And then they believe in what you say. But there is how you say the word. And the demon tells you that. Hold on. Why can't you read in the meditations of Jeremiah or in Proverbs? There is a person who can read in the book of Jeremiah. He reads in lamentations of Jeremiah. The Lord forgave us. Do you know angry prophets cannot get a revelation of wedding? He sees the wish of those who brought the wedding. And he sees you get a revelation of And he got dreams being rejected. A prophet who is sorrowful prophesies because he prophesies with sorrow. He can prophesy to you and he shows of that heart. And he doesn't have even victory. He says he will do good for them. 
And he will tell you what will make you sorrowful. That's why the prophets like I, they used to prophesy to Jerusalem. He used to re reach in a city. And he tells them that comfort my people. The prophecy of the, the, prophecy of the people are higher. People. They prophesy that there is no stone in the battles that are coming. Where will you consume what you have? He will pray for houses and he doesn't have any. The person is chased out of the house and you were building a tower. Do you think he will pray for you and he has that anointing? Ecclesias, songs of Solomon, lamentations of Jeremiah, Proverbs, such where there are sorrowful words. That's why the people God use mighty things are the people connected themselves with great atmospheres. If you need to do mighty things to the Lord, connect yourself to the people who did mighty things with great atmospheres. We have a lot of examples. And if you need to encounter great people, all the time protect yourself from talking when you are with great people. Listen only. Because your thought is not needed. If you were to be needed, you should have done what you were coming to hear there is a person who meets great people and you spend long talking and what you're saying is not true. When you are with smart people and you become talkative, they think like you are traumatized. You should be quiet and hear from their ideas. Because you went to ask for an inheritance. No, no, and then you were like giving out advice to where you yet reach. You're the one who need them. They don't need you. When you reach there, you become a servant. So that they may take you into freedom. May God bless you so much. <laughs> You give victory to the rich people, not poor. There, there is no poor Peter asked this question. Let's remind people that there is no calling of poverty. At least you can have a trial of poverty. But the Bible says that a person to go through trial, it will not take long, but it will turn and be miserable them. Peter asked her, as we left our everything and follow you, what will you reward us? And he said, I will give you everlasting life. But while you were still on earth, I will multiply for you a hundred oaks. At least take your life. And God multiply it a hundred times. Do not be highly. But a hundred depends on how you are. You will be able to manage yourself. We drive out poverty in the name of Jesus and in my name. Poverty is not the calling of the church. Because any gospel that doesn't preach about prosperity, it is not the gospel from God. Like some says that all wealthy belong to the Lord. You should do so. There is no way you can convince me that you don't have the right upon the wealthy of your father. But you yet know the principle of the palace, you yet realize that your father is the king. From tonight, what the word names you is not who you are, but name yourself what God named you. I'm not what people want me to be. I am what God wants me to be. May God bless you. Let me ask for two questions. We've been praying. 
For the people who have promises. Can I see the people yes. with promises? The serious problem that we have. We have, we have a question of how the promises are taking long without and you find some are out of it. I am questioning on behalf of others because our promises are taking long before coming to pass. And you find we are making our own simple ways we go through shortcuts because it's harder for us to go through the ways that God planned for us as he promised us yet coming it pass. What should we do? For, for God to find us in the right position boldly. Prophet, that question is really easy. It is poverty of the word of God. Actually took long. Does God have a loan for you? Did he promise you after giving him anything? Do you know why he allows you to have a promise? Before you complain for it, the Bible says that the reason why he tells you it is that he may strengthen your heart about what you shall see later. The delayance of the promise are two reasons. Number one, it is for you to reach on the level of managing the coming to pass promise. There are people here God can give money and they don't come back in the Man, house of God. And God gives you money to consume only. And he gives you more scriptures. So that you may reach to the level you will possess money but you don't fall. Until you will reach on the good level of the level of Christ. Number two. He says, if the promise takes long to come to pass, and those you prayed with are answered quickly before you, never feel Because when people are answered before you, actually God is telling you that you are the best patient mother And Jacob said that blessed is the one who is patient because after you are good, it is when you shall be given a crown of God. The word number three. Anytime God makes it, it comes in a necessary situation. God does not get delayed. God does not delay. There are people who say that whenever he lays you, he gives you a support of getting things. It is not right. God does not get saved. He lives everywhere at once. Do you think he can be late? Do you think the cars are over in God? Do you think it will be late? And the plan left him. The Bible says that whenever he wins, he walks on the wing of wings. <laughs> Hold your neighbor and tell them that whenever he wins, the weep of Aina. It is what gives out the answer of someone. God promised Abraham a child at the age of 72 years. And he gave birth at 100 years. By the time he got Aina. The Bible says that whenever you get the qualified. It pleases your heart. Anytime God will make it. You are rebelling for what? Peter Peter wanted to move away in heart. And Jesus asked him, do you want to live like all others does? Actually, the word that Peter replied to Jesus, it is not a spiritual word. It is a word of lacking how to do what you do. He said, where can we go if we leave you? Actually, in good Kinyarwanda, it is that you should tell him that if you should ask him, we go. But we don't have where to go. So let's dwell with you. Because you have good words.
words of life. Amen. Amen. Ask your neighbor if you move out of the house of the Lord. Ask your neighbor, you left and you saw. Instead of coming in the house of the Lord with a plan of moving out, you can be in loss because the earth is moving more than you do. Let's look for the Lord even in his life. By the end, he shall rescue us. Do you know the reason why we pray? And God answers some, some of us. It is that he may give us the sense that tomorrow it will be us. If you see people are answered, never be jealous. Because the length of a line is getting short. You are going to be the next. The promises are truthful. It never gets old. And God is always ready to complete them. Amen. Amen. The second as the last, then we conclude. We have the spirit of judging. And you find we are giving out uh, the balance, the level of salvation. And we say, this one is highly saved and this one is not. And we are balancing people in church. Watch the benefit. What's the loss from judgment? It's impossible to be beneficial to, to get benefit. You always in love. Actually, whenever you test your salvation to others, you will always see yourself more righteous. Because anyone who is judgmental, he always look at the weakness of others. He, he stops his mind and eyes to see what they can. In the house of the Lord, there are lots of objects. I will not be an intercessor mm -hmm. and be an evangelist at the same time. I shall preach and then some people will pray for me. If they fast for seven days, we fasted for seven days and while I was on my fifth day, I was almost to die. Then I escaped from them, I went to die. Coming back, they sent me that somebody is confusing us. I was like, do not trouble, it's me. We are here and God told us that we are already finished. Do you believe that is God but or not? There was like, is the God. Then if God saw me, and he saw my everything, so will I remain here But we agreed to pray for and him. I'm and I'm answered, why should I remain here? And I was feeling I'm going to die. And then if I would die, it's and like, but I was feeling and I had money to give. And I have also prayed. Paul said that I shall pray with spirit. And with spirit. So you went on the mountain. And God tells you that I give you a husband. You fell to pass in Sheik where they are. You fell to pass at Nyabugogo where many people are. So when will you get a husband at the mountain? You will keep your anointing. But you will get old from the mountain. You should go on the field. Jesus became a king before reaching to Jerusalem. He told people that no prophet who can die before reaching to Jerusalem. Try your level best and reach where great people are. Did you know that uh, David had been for seven years being a king without leading Jerusalem? And you find you were born from Jerusalem. And you learn from him. And you make a kiosk in Rutrus. And you are married at Rutrus. And your whole life is in Rutrus. Where will you get connected with other atmospheres? You cannot ask them where a town is located. 
have some journey and tour. The Bible says that I shall bless you going and coming. There is a blessing you encounter going. Look at when you spend the whole day at home. You can die with fire. But you can move around. And you meet somebody who was looking for you many years. And you say, huh? Your number was not working. Because you were in the atmosphere where people are. Those are things you should know people of God. If you pray, activate your prayers. And you find a person who has a capital. He's asking God, so can I start? That I need a confirmation. A confirmation is that you have a capital. What else voice you need? You have money to store. Look for a commissioner so that he may direct you. Kneel, kneel. Tell God that I have support. May your blessing be upon me. Then you will meet prophet outside here. And you tell them that you have money. And he will charge you money for certification. Money to go for you on the market. Money of it. You will end up sharing the whole money. There are things which doesn't require other kind of wisdom, which requires you to know the word of God. If he dwells in me and my words dwell in you, ask for whatever you need, you shall be given. All the time you will be judgmental. Be aware that you are reducing your marks before God. Because whenever you're judging other people, you are like you are spreading the kingdom of Satan. The Bible says that even those who are injured in no, 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 heart, no, 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 if you see somebody can make no, something, no, pray for them, or maybe you teach no, them. No, if you see can't work, speak to the elders that this person misbehaves. No, 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 no. But do not judge that those people makes me commit sin. You have a serious problem. No one can make you commit sin. That does makes me fall asleep. Yes, you have already stumbled. You stumbled in soul. We don't refer to anyone else. We refer to Jesus as the greatest teacher. And the Holy Spirit is the one who is the one people are servants who are used by God. There is there is no angel who lives in this world. There is no angel in this world. The Bible says that even in heaven, God sees mistakes. Think of us who are on earth. In our, the weakness of men is where God completes his power. If there are things that you need to do and make, praise God. But even those, there are other things they can make. Do you see five fingers? This one feels proud that it makes a stamp. And this one denies the kind of reward. You can joke with the person when you are in the meeting and tells you that just that I'm in the spirit. If I can't be in the spirit, I can show you. Those are all the people who are in this ministry. There's are gifted people who say to others that they talk to God directly. This finger that's long to all others. They have turned themselves particular secretary of God who knows those who will go to heaven or not. These are the, for the people who are proud who say that they put on the ring of gifts. It's here where the ring goes. And then this is a Christian who always says that, why can't you humble yourself under the arm of God? Humble yourself under the arm of God. In the right time, God will exalt you. Thank you so much, Shepard. Let's applaud to God for the servant of God. Let's applaud to Jesus' 